Hi, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's nail art tutorial, Julie will be showing you how to create these incredible and trendy 3D unicorn nails. These are super cool and texturized just like the horn of a unicorn. Before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button for a new video every Monday. Hi, it's Julie. Now let's get started with the unicorn tutorial. To begin, I'll be popping on some false stiletto nails so that the unicorn horn nail looks more like the shape of a horn. For this, I'm using the full cover nails by Kiss in the long stiletto style. This kit comes with a ton of nails and different sizes for you to choose from. So I sized up the fake nails to my own to find the right fit, then I added some glue to the back of the nail and held it down for about 15 seconds, and now we're ready for the unicorn designs. For this manicure, I'll be using gel polishes, and even though these are fake nails, I still like to prep with a layer of base coat to help the other gels adhere properly. Here I'm just applying a nice thin coat of the base gel, then I'm just curing it in my LED lamp according to the gel manufacturer's instructions. Now that the nails are prepped, it's time to get magical. To do the unicorn horn nail, I'll first be applying two coats of a bubblegum pink color gel, curing in between each layer. Since we're working with gel, be cautious about getting it on the skin and remember to remove any that you do get on your skin before you cure. Curing with gel on the skin can feel hot and burn, plus it can cause premature lifting of your mani. And as always, remember to drag the excess gel on the brush along the tip of the nail to cap the color. Now that we have our base color down, it's time to add the horn texture. To do this, I'll be using a synthetic hair nail brush and the same colored gel. Starting at the point of the nail, I carefully glided a line of gel across my nail at an angle. Try to pull the gel across rather than brush it to get that 3D hump effect. Quickly pop your nail under the LED lamp for about 15 seconds to flash cure it. This is gonna prevent the line from shifting or flattening before you can finish the rest of the lines. Continue making diagonal lines following the direction of the line prior and flash curing after each one. And it's okay if these aren't perfect or completely even. The top coat will help blend any uneven texture, but the hollow powder is gonna blind you from any imperfections anyway. Once all your lines are on, go ahead and fully cure your entire nail. After that, I went over each line one more time to build up the size and make it really dimensional. You can work faster at this step because you have your guidelines down and you don't have to cure as often. Finish with one more cure and now we can move on to the hollow. Hollow powder works best over a no wipe top coat, so first we're gonna need to apply that to the unicorn horn nail. Because this nail is so textured, there's a couple extra steps you'll have to take when top coating. First, apply the top coat over the nail as you normally would, but then turn your brush and sweep the product horizontally to get inside the grooves. Then remove the product from your brush and go back over the grooves one more time to make sure there's not too much product in between them so that they stay three dimensional. After that, you can cure. The holographic powder I'll be using is from Ocean Nail Supply and I'll be applying it using a sponge applicator. I buffed the powder over the entire nail and I used the point of the applicator to get into all the little grooves. Once the hollow is on, lock in the magical powder with one more layer of top coat following the same measures as before. And now you have a beautiful holographic pink unicorn horn nail. Since this nail is so bold, I'll be keeping the other nails fairly simple. I applied the same bubblegum pink gel to my index nail and pinky, then used a lighter pink shade on my middle nail and cured. Over top of that, I'll be using some mermaid powder to accent the hollow on my unicorn horn. To apply the mermaid powder, I rubbed the sugar-like pigment into the sticky layer of the gel after it cured. We have a whole video talking about these special powders, so check the description box for a more in-depth tutorial. To add a little extra sparkle, I applied some iridescent rhinestones to the plain nails and I secured them with some gel and then cured it. 
finish off with a layer of top coat gel over all of the mermaid powder nails to add a beautiful shine and you're done. Now you have super cool 3D unicorn nails. If you'd like to watch more fun and amazing nail tutorials on Q-Polish, just click this little box here or here. You can also subscribe by clicking here. Also, you can check out my personal channel by clicking the link in the description.